Hi, I'm Darren Rice with Ultra Geothermal Incorporated, and I'm going to show you various ways and uh, various options of various different geothermal air heating and cooling heat pumps of how to go about changing your air filter. First, I should start off by saying that uh, changing your air filter should be done once before the heating season starts and once before the cooling season starts. Um, do not pull your filter out of your unit, look at it, and say, oh, it's clean, I'm going to leave it in for another season. I promise you, you do not want a dirty air filter in one of these machines because this is a refrigerant machine, and they are very sensitive to air temperatures and pressures. Unlike gas furnaces and other type of heating systems, you want to make sure that your filter is clean. It's very, very important, not only for the refrigerant side, but also from an efficiency standpoint. First of all, before you even attempt to start changing your air filter, make sure that your thermostat fan or your fan inside your geothermal heat pump is off. It is very difficult to change your filter if your fan is on. Now, some of these heat pumps are installed with two filter locations. One filter location would be, well both filter locations, would wind up being on the return air side of your heat pump system. So when you're looking at your heat pump system, typically you're going to see a plenum box like this that I'm touching. This is called your return air plenum. Okay. Now your filter can either be on the inlet side of this plenum on, or on this side of the system or as you get closer to the unit. This particular model has an independent filter installed where I'm standing. Sometimes you will see the same filter installed on the top of this plenum. Um, it just depends on the configuration, different heights, and different ways the ductwork had to be tied into your geothermal heat pump. So this particular model has what we call a media filter cabinet, and you can see many. They, you'll see many different types and styles, but they're all pretty much the same in their configuration. So what I just did is I just removed the front cover from the media filter cabinet that is on this particular unit. As you can see, they usually have tabs that are on the bottom that go into the bottom side of the filter. And on the top, you usually have a handle here that you pull out, lift up, and then your filter media cabinet is open. So remove the cover and inside you're going to have an air filter. This is a media filter. You can see the size and the thickness. This is a very good quality filter. So you would remove your filter. This particular one happens to be clean because this particular one is brand new. Um, just replaced that is. And then you would take a new filter like this. You would reinstall. Now see this arrow on the filter? Every filter has a different color, location, etc., etc., for where that arrow is. But it says airflow this way. So what you want to do is when your return air comes back to your heat pump, it's going this way back into the heat pump. So you would want that arrow going that direction. So when you reinstall your filter, you would put it in, arrows facing this way towards the machine, insert it, and then put your door back on. And that's it. Now, there is one other alternative filter location if you do not have a media cleaner like this one. I'll have to walk over here and it's going to be very hard to see on this particular unit but the same thing goes for the return air plenum we talked about earlier. That return air plenum is attached to the side of your geothermal heat pump. So sometimes if you do not have a media filter like we just showed, sometimes you'll have a filter located right on the side of the heat pump where that plenum attaches to the unit. And there will be a door there that's about usually about two inches wide. 
It is either held together by little screw tab buttons that you can just take off by twisting your fingers, or sometimes it requires a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws from that door. Either way, you would pull that door off, do the same thing, pull the filter out, put it back in the same way you would put in your other media filter that we just talked about earlier, make sure your arrow is pointing inward towards the heat pump, put your door back on, and your filter is changed. Thank you.